Dirextra Construction Business School London. today uh, to transmit to everybody some statistics about CGIM. Uh, so we won't only talk about technicalities of projects and things like that, but also something that maybe will be interesting, hopefully, for you all to uh, understand how the recruitment process uh, comes about and uh, you know to understand the differences of all the companies that you're looking at because we believe that Dirextra is doing a very good job with the high quality of training that they are giving you and pushing you to close the gap between the studying environment that you've all been used to and the working environment that we think that you will be able to start shortly with the various companies presented to you. So I presented myself, Cinza Grillo, and here we have Daniele Kindami, who is our testimonial. He, uh, I recruited him through Directra in 2014. Yes. So he's been with us on three different projects, and he will explain everything and how his experiences were at the later stage. So what do we offer? On the one hand, we offer very difficult projects. Our projects are very difficult. Our clients only give us the difficult sector of a project. We get assigned these projects, but uh, this is the reason. We, for example, we specialize in steep slopes, pipelines, and then we'll see uh, the different uh, projects that we have later. So because of these difficult projects, we need candidates, employees that are ambitious and take on risks because they want to learn everything that they can in this sector, which is a small little sector in the oil and gas. <coughs> so now the word is over to Daniela, who's going to give us his experiences from Directstar. Uh, good morning everybody, I'm Daniela. Uh, some years ago, as you, I was listening to Chistia that do the presentation of CGIM. And uh, as you know, pipeline is a very different job from all the construction job that we have. For example, I come from highway project. I do before uh, pipeline, uh, two years of uh, highway, and after I enjoy the pipeline. What say Cinzia about the equipment and the ability of the Italian that uh, we have in Sicim is difficult to understand now. So I won't try to give this message. As uh, she say, uh, you can see in this picture here is my first project in Congo. We give energy of half of Congo and Central Africa with this project. And the difficult that you cannot imagine. In the picture down, you can see, okay, more or less 15 cranes that work in the same, in the same time. So what Cinzia uh, try to do when uh, she say, and uh, as I don't understand the first time that they come in Sichim, is what's meaning have this crane. Sichim have this crane to work practically every time in the perfect 
system together with Sijim employer. What uh, I found in Sijim in Congo when I arrived the first time, I was as uh, everyone without not much experience, without uh, not much ability, and they put me with uh, another experienced person that teach me and let me grow up. Only to uh, say this, I start with Sijim as a supervisor for this project, on the hand, they let me grow up so much that the client asked me to work near my manager. So for all the people that uh, are ambitious and all the people that want to do career outside in the big engineering project, I think that Sijim is one of the best companies that everyone can enjoy. Because they really take young worker, young engineer, young people and let them grow up and let them to do experience in this such of project that are very difficult. Um, for example, in the picture down that looks like a very easy job, we are putting a lot of very small pipe inside the structure that are built before in the picture on top to the right. Now, do this looks very easy, but the experience and the capacity that all the people need to have to work together shall be very, is very important because leave this kind of structure that is a, a weight is a lot of tons with uh, two or three crane and down people that do foundation or something like this is not easy is not for everyone this is why uh, the reason because see Jim are trying to teach to take young people and give the opportunity to everyone to grow up and uh, for this reason I was very happy to join from the first time that uh, I Cinzia say we call you they call you in a very short time after a few days Carmen called me and say look uh, Cinzia want you to do an interview you like to know you so in after three days, she contacted me with Filippo, that is the QHSC corporate mm -hmm. manager on Skype. And after three days, she called me again, look, you need to go in Congo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you can imagine how Sijim can trust to the people, to the people that chose. In only six days, I think, totally, was six days. We pass to, okay, we are interesting to you, we want to meet you a little bit better, uh, okay, you will go in Congo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I say, okay. All by himself. <laughs> the thing is, uh, you need to have uh, passion for this kind of job. You need to understand, you will not go in a normal project. You will go in a project that is able to change some uh, balance between energy, oil and gas. We are speaking about energy. We, as said Cinzia before in the slide, we are working now in Turkey, in the Tana project. It is the biggest project about oil and gas that we have in the world now. And Sijim is there with young people, with old people that take experience. And this kind of experience let you have a know-how that no one will give you, no one can study. Because the difficult that you will meet there, you will not found in any part of the world. Dirextra Construction Business School London.